she, she was finished shopping. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, starting the day off right with a good laugh. Because uh, I just realized I'm going down to Good Life Fitness to join up. And I just realized I'm wearing a Gold's, or a World Gym, Gold's, World Gym shirt. <laughs> I just put this on this morning. Uh, it was like the first shirt that was in my drawer. And I uh, got all my work done that I needed done. Got some phone calls done. Uh, something really cool might be happening on Wednesday, so stay tuned to that. Uh, you won't be finding out Wednesday, but I might be able to talk to you about it on Wednesday, but uh, we won't find out if anything cool is gonna come out of that for a little while. And we're back. Did I mention it was a beautiful day out today? Just perfect temperature. Uh, what is the temperature? It is 24 degrees Celsius, which is like 9,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It's actually 75.2 degrees Fahrenheit is 24 degrees Celsius. Let me change the gear because we're going up a really big hill. And then everybody stops on the hill. Okay, so perfect temperature, go for a bike ride, but uh, I need to start working out, strength training, and uh, every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'll try and bike you know, every Tuesday, Thursday, if I, I, I should be able to find the time. It's like, come on, dude, just get on your bike for half an hour. That's all you need, right? But tomorrow's going to be a good day. I'm going to be going to Chris's boxing gym, Tiller's boxing gym, and we'll be working out there. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to actually punch because my right arm's still sore from tennis elbow or something. It's probably, actually, I'm trying to think back. I possibly injured myself punching the punching bag too hard. That's possibly a way I injured it. I don't know yet. But I'll have a doctor's appointment at the end of June or sometime in June. And uh, we'll get that resolved. Also, Wednesday, I'm home all day. Uh, I'll have to slip out and do my workout sometime during that day. But I have three important phone calls. And, and one of them is something I talked to you about earlier. The other two, are, uh, I'm not sure if I can talk about them. Thursday, uh, we got to take this car in at 2 o'clock to Superior Tire and get the inner and outer tie rods replaced on the front right wheel because they are loose and are going to break and fall off and, and the car will roll over. It won't be good. So let's get down to good life, sign up, and start working out. As you can tell, I made it down to Bradford. Good life, fitness. I'm standing by my car so the wind doesn't affect the mic. And let's go in, sign up, start working out. Had a half decent workout. I didn't go all out today. Uh, I ran on the treadmill for about 10 minutes, only burned like 100 calories or less. I think it was less than that. Uh, and then I went on the bike, walked around the place, looked at all the different equipment. Uh, one of the things I couldn't find was the leg lifts, but uh, I found that eventually. But so I did the treadmill first, and then I did the bike for about 30 minutes, burned over 300 calories on that. Uh, and then I did some uh, leg lifts. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I just, I was kind of, I'm kind of uh, pressed for time right now. Ben needs the car to go to work. Carol needs to pick me up. She's right now shopping at Zares. So let's go over to Zares and do a sneak attack on Carol. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I, I put out an Instagram uh, picture, which went to my Facebook, Twitter, and Good Life even said, welcome aboard, glad you're with us. Oh no. And uh, how's your work at, workout going? And then they liked what I said on my, how my workout was going. Good so far, I think I said. So good so far. And uh, so that's very cool. It's, it's nice when a company uses their social media, sees who's shouting them out, uh, who's retweeting them and all that stuff. And uh, Good Life is uh, the place to be here in Bradford, Ontario. Carol swore in my vlog. Can you believe that? <laughs> Carol's biggest fear is what she looks like on camera. It's just like, I don't care. Look at this. I could have my beard all wacky like this. People don't care. <laughs> I do.
do? You, you know, you, you don't purposely go out and look like crap, but you just walk through a windy parking it's lot. It's a windy day. And you just finish shopping, you just finish working. People look like different when they wake up in the morning and after a shower. Yes. Anyway, so Carol already did the Zares shopping. Uh, I went and picked up Ben and Leah from Leah's house, drove her to work, and then came here. I was going to go inside and, and uh, freak Carol out or scare her or something, but that didn't happen. because. But by the by the time we got here, she was uh, finished shopping. She, she was finished shopping. <laughs> See, I'm not worried about the way I talk. People like it. Because it's your video. It's my video. <laughs> <laughs> so what do we have for dinner tonight? Well, I bought ground beef and ground turkey and nice hamburger buns. So half and half? Yeah, so burgers. So for many years, you guys might know or might not know that we rarely had red meat in our house. It was, burgers were always um, turkey burgers. And we do chicken, a lot, chicken breasts, boneless, skinless, and then we cut the fat off it. So that's the kind of diet we've had in our house for the last 20 something years. And I think there's maybe four times that we bought steaks and that was probably about it. Uh, and burgers we rarely and if we do buy uh, ground beef we always mix it with turkey so that you're not getting just all ground beef which a lot of people say you shouldn't do a lot of right so just to give you guys a heads up of, of my dietary history at home because people think that I eat red meat every day for breakfast lunch and dinner well plus bacon, plus bacon, snack right? bacon sort of like yeah, well, pork is like a totally different story, but everybody talks about beef and red meat and how, how if eating too much of it is not great for you. And anyway, so that's what we're doing tonight. We're going to mix half and half. Uh, one thing we have to be careful with, Carol, is you can't put pepper on hers, but I like pepper and salt on mine. I've learned that from Paul. It just makes the burger taste great. So we'll cook mine separate from Carol's. Unfortunately, like this... Ben usually likes anything that I like, almost. So that's at least when we cook something for us, it's fine. But Carol's different, our daughter's different, but Ben and I are the same. Is the camera rolling? <laughs> I shut the light off so I can't tell if it's rolling or not. So, anyway. So we're off to our home. Uh, good life is good. I can, I can actually sign you up for like 18 bucks bi-weekly. Wow. So, we'll think about it. If you want, you're in. Do you want some Tim Hortons? Hey. Don't it? Don't it. <laughs> Don't I? Don't it. Healthy eating and healthy eating. exercising and let's go to the whole The whole time you're like talking about healthy, like just munching away <laughs> on a big cream donut. It's all oozing sugar slime. Anyway, so let's go home. <laughs>